welcome to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today is Monday of the 12th week in Ordinary Time, and I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valliere. Alexio Divina is from the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 through 5. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our gospel passage. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. All glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stop judging, that you may not be judged. For as you judge, so will you be judged. And the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye? but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye. How can you say to your brother, let me remove that splinter from your eye while the wooden beam is in your eye? You hypocrite. Remove the wooden beam from your eye first. Then you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. All praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel reading, according to St. Matthew, we begin the last chapter of the Sermon on the Mount. Stop judging, that you may not be judged, that is, judged by God. Jesus today touches on an issue in which very few of us can claim innocence, passing judgment on others, that is. Sometimes we call it gossip, which seems harmless enough, and very often it is relatively harmless. And yet, at times, we can spend a long time tearing other people apart, revealing to others information about people which they do not need to know. What Jesus says is so true. We focus on a tiny speck in someone else's eye while there is a very large plank in our own. In fact, that is probably why we are so fond of indulging in this exercise. Our purpose is not so much to bring another person down as to bring ourselves up. Often those we judge are better than we are or more gifted, or more educated. To some extent, unconsciously, we may feel inferior. One way to even things up is to bring them down, to reveal their faults. And this is made even worse in our own time by the reach and impact of social media, Facebook, Twitter, and all the other outlets where people just diatribe against each other. But as Jesus says, this is a kind of hypocrisy. Given our own faults, what right do we have to sit in judgment of someone else? So often our judgments are based on purely external evidence or on incomplete evidence. We condemn acts while being quite ignorant of the motives behind the acts. You know, only God is able to make an accurate judgment of a person's soul, of a person's heart, of a person's strengths or weaknesses. Linked with all this is the fact that nine times out of ten, we will never make our criticisms face to face. This, on the one hand, is a form of cowardice, and on the other, proves our hypocrisy, 
because we make no effort to help the person that we make uh, make any of the changes that we would like to see them make or that we're accusing them. It might be a good resolution for us to promise only to criticize people to their face and then in a non-judgmental fashion and to give them an opportunity to express their side of the story. Sometimes we will find that our criticisms are without any real foundation or we will find the person grateful for drawing attention to something they were unaware of and removing that plank from our eye is another way of saying that before we make any evaluation of another, we need to be darn sure that our view is totally free from any prejudice or bias. We do have a serious responsibility to draw attention to things that people do wrong, especially if others or they themselves are hurt but it is a responsibility we often shirk. Gossiping behind their backs is just so much easier, but gossiping helps no one. Something for us to ponder over and over as we reread these scripture passages. So after our closing prayer, reread the scripture passage and contemplate its message again. Concentrate on a thought that comes to you either through a verse or even just a small word that touches you. And ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you and then how you may spiritually grow closer to Him in friendship. God desires our friendship. Let us complete our divine reading now with a closing prayer. And let us pray. Having contemplated your divine word and embraced the sacred truths you teach us, complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in all ways. And may his generous blessings Fill your day with joy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, if you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button and help support our channel. And also, share these links. Pass them along to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you all. Have a great day. And join us again tomorrow for another Lexio Divina. Pax et bonum. Peace and blessings.